Yeah, I, I came from uh, from the Midwest, um, and when I decided that it was time for me to head out to Los Angeles, um, I remember the night before I left, um, I had a conversation with my sister. I have an older sister, and she she uh, kind of wanted to give me her, her blessing of sorts, I guess. But she she kind of sat me down and, and wanted me to know that, that she was she was okay to stay there in the Midwest and that she didn't have what I have in terms of some uh, hard to place or, or, or name, you know, some elusive type of, of, of internal passion for what I, what I do and, and this, this motivation, this drive to go become more and, and seek and find more than, than what I had and where I came from. Um, but yeah, after I, I, I got out to LA, I had some, some momentum from some, some work that I had done prior to moving out there uh, in film and television. And then after about a year and a half of, of kind of doing the auditioning actor two-step, um, I remember that I, I, I kind of came to a crossroads where I had to decide if I was going to see the acting thing through and continue working and taking jobs um, and, some, and some career path that I didn't necessarily seek out originally or if I was going to go uh, dive into to music and, and sort of establish myself as, as a, a, a songwriter and um, I remember sitting at an audition and you know, reading over my sides for the scene that I had to audition and I remember looking around the waiting room and there were 10 other Tony Lucas sitting there reading over their lines, you know, like on paper we were all the same guy. And and I remember having this really hollow feeling inside, like, wow, I, I felt like such a number. I felt like, you know, just one of several and what's going to differentiate what I do from what they do and it's just all so subjective and, and uh, I really felt like I was at the mercy of something that is so much bigger than, than you know, um, than, than my own personal motivation to, to, you know, express myself or create something. So I, I remember that was my last audition. I went home, I told my manager, I told my agent, I said, I'm, I'm I'm done, and I'm, I'm going to go do the music thing, and and I'm going to go 100% in the music thing, <laughs> and and they were they were upset, you know, because they, you know, things were working out. I had some momentum as an actor, but but they understood, they they, they got it, because again, it was it was it came from inside me, and it, it was it was an honest honest decision, and so um, so yeah, man. I mean, I remember it was kind of this huge leap of faith. To, to, to go do that, to sort of abandon, you know, what what had brought me in, and uh, but then yeah, when it was time to go, I remember making my first record and spending every last dime I had, <laughs> and then some, and and not worrying about it, not not uh, you know, trying to save anything for a rainy day. I mean, this this was my rainy day, and it was a wonderful day. <laughs> it was like I was out in the rain dancing and splashing in puddles, you know, and, and uh, it was a really liberating time and, and, and a very inspired time. And, and uh, when I look back on whenever I am sort of discouraged or need some kind of reminder as to why I'm doing this to begin with, I, I think back to that time when Wow, I, I really, I really was that crazy, or I really was that courageous, or I really did believe in myself that much, and uh, and it helps me kind of recharge my batteries, so to speak, and, and believe in myself all over again and keep going.